up next. It's our co-main event of the evening. It's the welterweight matchup between Dong Yong Kim and Damage. Fighting out of the blue corner is Damage. With a speed very few fighters can match, this striker loves to attack from the outside with devastating kicks. And he'll be looking to give the UFC fans a quick knockout here tonight. A fourth degree black belt in the art of judo, the Korean stun gun, Dong Young Kim is a well-rounded competitor who can take control of a fight and dish out a lot of punishment. Since arriving in the UFC, he's defeated solid competition and proven that he belongs amongst the top of the division. Brought to you by Dodge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC Walter Waite division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Damage! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Dong Young Stun Gun! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. And we are ready to get this fight started. Damage. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jaeger the Viking here bringing you some UFC Undisputed 3 going against Dian Han. Dan Ha Hyang. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. I don't even know. I didn't pay attention to my intro. I was talking to someone during the intros, so I have no clue how you pronounce his name, but it is confusing to say the least. I'll just call him Kim. That's his last name. And, um, yeah, he has the overall advantage, but I had the advantage in cardio, footwork, strength, and, uh, what was, what's the last one? I don't, I don't remember, but I have the advantage in all the physical attributes, so really all he has the advantage in is when it gets to, uh, you know, the, um, because, you know, for anyone who has this game, you know, it's the four main categories being, uh, what are they? It's cardio, footwork, strength, and one more, sorry, I don't remember which one that is. And I had the advantage there, but then he has the advantage in, like, the more precise stats. But right now, I'm really opening this fight up, just beating him. I mean, really, he's already cut up pretty bad, and I'm not even, like, taking any sort of toll. Oh, he's going to take me right down there. Oh, wow. He, he mounts me out of nowhere. I was not expecting that after the two minutes of just domination that I was uh, I was having there. I didn't think he would be able to mount me that quickly. That was that was annoying. Oh, look at that. Look at these shots. He is His face is messed up. I'm going to knock him out. If I don't knock this guy out, I'll be surprised. I'm going to keep it standing because I... I feel like if I tried to take it to the ground at all, he'd probably just beat me on the ground. Like, I know he's a striker, but uh, regardless, I always lose on the ground no matter who I'm going against. Ever since I left the WFA and went up to the UFC, I have not won a fight on the ground. <laughs> so, really every time I try to go to the ground, I get tapped. I think next time I might um, go with a wrestler or something like that just so I... Uh, just so I'm not getting, you know, dominated every time I try to take it to the ground. Because striking, you know, you can do a lot with striking even as a wrestler, but you can only do so much on the ground when all you can do is strike. So, um, I think wrestler will be the route I go with my next fighter. Oh, wow. I, I'm shocked as to 
I mean, I'm not even doing anything. I'm literally pressing a Y, X, Y, X, Y, X over and over again. And I'm going to get the first round knockout right there at the end of the round. He was not able to get saved by the bell. Literally, all I did for that fight was press X and Y. Looks like I'm going to pick up the victory. All right, well, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you want to subscribe if you're new. If you don't mind taking the extra couple seconds out of your day to drop a like on this video, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, well, that's it for this time. See ya.